Welcome back to Australia. In this video, we're gonna show you Luke's takedown buoy knife. He was one of the first people to buy our takedown buoy knife online course, and he just recently finished the knife right before coming to the blade symposium. So I got the chance to meet him and do a little interview and talk to him about the process and going through making his takedown buoy knife. It took me about two and a half months. You know, learning new things takes time. Like for example, the um, I had a couple of handles. I'd never done this before, so I, I you know, I did a, a test one just to practice. Um, then I, when it felt okay, I, I did it on the nicer wood. Um, so that sort of stuff takes a while. That, that was the second guard. I did a practice guard as well. I didn't fully finish it, but I just practiced the filing and the rounding. Mm. And yeah. Were there any kind of tools that you felt like you were really missing in order to do what you wanted on this? I followed your advice and I bought pretty much everything I didn't have. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah. There's a few gaps in my, my sort of lineup. I don't want to say it's easy, mm. but with, with the video, it didn't feel too hard. Mm -hmm. Once you're shown, you know, if you mm. don't know it's hard and you have to work it out, but when you've got the video and you're being shown, there wasn't anything too hard, I had to say that. Well, <laughs> because yeah. it, I don't want to sound like I'm a great knife maker and everything's easy because time, I think, was the big thing for me. Yeah. If you're patient and you invest the time and listen to what you're saying, you get there, like, you know, I reckon. Did you, like, watch the whole course and then go through or did you kind of, like, take it like chapter by chapter where you watch a little and work on your knife or how'd you approach it? Yeah, I watched it all through and noted down all the equipment that I would need. Mm -hmm. um, so that was the main reason for watching it. I also got an overview of what was installed. Yeah. Um, but the main reason was to make sure I had all the tools because, mm -hmm. you know, I didn't want to get halfway through and, oh damn, I need to buy this and wait two weeks for it to arrive and mm. stuff. So yeah. I, I figured, you know, better than me, so I'm just gonna do what you say. I'm gonna use the tools you recommend. And I, I thought it came out really good. So I've made a kitchen knife and about eight steak knives and this one. <laughs> wow, <laughs> wow. <laughs> the finish on the blade is very impressive too because having it out in the sunlight and everything, I mean, it looks very uniform. If you're designing knives, to get an overall look that is, is this good is really hard. So that's why for this, I, I largely stuck to what you designed mm -hmm. because I really loved it. Mm -hmm. um, I used it as a learning exercise. So I thought, oh look, it's okay if I, you know, borrow very heavily from your design and mm -hmm. style. Absolutely. Yeah. Because I loved it so much. I thought, man, mm -hmm. I, if I tried to do too much of my own as a beginner, it's not gonna look as good. Mm -hmm. And I wanted a good knife. I wanted that basically that knife with mm. just a few little twigs. Mm. Yeah, you just keep doing different stuff, you know, pull from different people what you like and put it into your own thing. And then that eventually, it takes time, but that eventually leads to your own thing over time. And, and then you wake up one day and like, oh, I have this unique style that's completely my own, you know, that kind of thing. I did feel a little bit bad about how similar it was to yours. No, no, no. <laughs> no. That's, what that's, we that's were. the point of the course that, knife. Yeah. It's not like I made a knife and put it on Instagram and then somebody copied it. The course knife is to be, mm -hmm. you know, made just like it if you want to. And thank you both. Like, really appreciate you guys putting the effort in to putting that material out there. Like, because, you know, some people don't like sharing stuff and whatever. Mm -hmm. And so that's, yeah, really appreciate you being open and sharing. Like, it's huge, means yeah. oh, this amount. It's our pleasure. Yeah. I mean, this 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 really is the highlight of the trip right here, just because we put a lot of effort in that and stuff, and to see that that it worked well for you is just oh. that's the greatest thing ever. I'm so so glad it worked out really well. Yeah, guys, I don't even have any feedback. Like you know, <laughs> it was so, I wouldn't change anything. Yeah, it was so good. Like, yeah. I don't change anything. That's great. Stick to that. <laughs> it <great>. works. <laughs> You can hit pause. You can try it a few times. <coughs> You're not having 10 people standing around waiting for you. I'm pretty slow on learning, so you have to watch it a lot. Mm -hmm. And you can do that on a video. Mm -hmm. like for me, it was the perfect learning medium. I know some people obviously might prefer one-on-one, -on -one, but honestly, I reckon more people and more and more people learn better through the video or that kind of media. And the option of your Facebook stuff. So if you do have questions, you just go on there and ask them. Like, it was amazing to meet Luke and talk with him and see what he was able to learn from the takedown buoy knife course. I was so impressed. If you go back and look at my 10th knife, it was nothing like this at all. Thank you so much for watching this little bonus video. May the forge be with you. Bye-bye.